Mordecai, have you heard? The king is back. Yes, I've heard. Everyone's talking about it. Look, there's the royal flag over there. He's not far off now. His first battalion has already arrived. So I see. I don't know what all the fuss is about. Oh, well, the king's been away for a long time. It's only natural that his people would be anxious for his return. <laughs> Until he goes off again, fighting more battles, expanding his borders, and who pays? We do. I don't know why you like this man and show him such respect. Well, aren't we captives in his Persian world? <laughs> Ariel, we may be captives, but he's given us the freedom of his city. We're not treated any differently than anyone else. We're certainly not in chains. Come, my friend, do not be dismayed. Life is good. Why don't you understand that in this land we're treated equal, free to pursue? Our women are not even safe here. It was all done in jest. There was no harm done. Here I am, home again, back where I belong. I'm so proud I can fight for a land so strong. Here all people live in harmony with a king. Persia, your king returns. 
even more victorious, making Persia the greatest nation on earth. Yay! Our battles have been very long and have made us very weary. However, today we rejoice in our victories and enjoy the wine from the royal cellars. There will be feasting for everyone. Open the palace gates! <laughs> There's one thing this palace is never short of. It's wine. Yay! Drink, drink, my good man, for it won't be long, and we'll be back on the battlefields. So Our wars with the Greek states are not over yet. Music! Where's Hatak? Here, Your Majesty. Hatak, we are in need of amusement. Entertain us. Certainly, Your Majesty. Ah, Mamukan! Your Majesty! Where's the Queen? Mamukan, where's Vashti? She hasn't attended any of my banquets these past seven days. No, sire. She prefers the women's banquets. Does she now? Attack! <laughs> Go fetch the Queen and tell her the King commands her to attend this banquet forthwith in her royal robe and crown for all of my subjects to admire her beauty. Certainly, Your Majesty. Where's the queen? Sire, she... she... What, man? Speak! She's not coming, sire. What? She says that her beauty is for you alone and not for your common guests. She refuses my command. She won't come at my bidding? What shall we do about this? When news of the queen's behavior gets out, all women will treat their husbands with disrespect. 
pointing out that even King Xerxes, when he ordered Queen Vashti to come to him, she did not come. Your Majesty, the wives of the ministers of Medes and Persia, our own wives who have heard what Queen Vashti has done, will remind us of this incident, causing a great deal of scandal and quarrelling. Something I dare say we could do without. Your Majesty, I strongly suggest we remove her precious crown and give it to another more worthy than her. She is very headstrong, and this is not the first time she has disobeyed you. I will not put up with this. If it please, Your Majesty, issue a royal edict. That's a new, immutable law be written into the laws of Persia and Media, with the effect that Queen Vashti may never again come before King Xerxes, and that her royal position be given to another. Let the edict be posted throughout the empire, so that all women will treat their husbands with respect, regardless of their status. <laughs> As you say, let it be done. How dare she defy me? I am the ruler of the greatest empire in the world. No one disobeys my command. I am the king. David takes his sling, puts in a stone, and swings his arm. The stone hits Goliath in the head, and he falls to the ground. The armor bearers and the soldiers run away. <laughs> and that's all for tonight, children. Tell us another story. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. Please. Sing to us. Yes, sing to us. All right, children, all right. But then you must go home.
Soldiers coming this way! Soldiers? What's happened? It's the king's decree. His search for a new queen. <laughs> Why are they coming here? To take girl to the palace. Quick, Hadassah, hide! They mustn't find you Just here! Just a moment. They're not going to take Hadassah. Are you Mordecai? I am Mordecai. You have a daughter? No. <laughs> the one over there, who is she? She is my niece. By the king's command, she is to report to the palace tomorrow morning where she is to reside in the king's harem. What? She is to present herself to Hepzibah, keeper of the harem, and there she will receive instruction and await the king's approval. This can't be! What if she doesn't want to go? Ha! What Persian woman doesn't want to go? Ah, but she's not! Sh if she isn't there by noon tomorrow, I will be back. She won't go! We won't ch Children, children, it's getting very late, and it's time for you to go home now. Your, your parents will be worried about you. Why did the soldiers come? Is it true you're going to the palace? Yes, I'm afraid it is. But come, children, you have to go home now. But why must you go? Because the king commands it. Are you going to be one of the king's women? No, of course not. But are the girls taken to the palace or for the king? Miriam, where did you hear that? I heard my father tell my mother they're all going to live in the home. What's that? It's a place where they keep all the women in the palace. No, it isn't. It's only for the king's women. No. Yes, it is. Come now, children. Don't, don't argue. And say goodbye to Hadassah. Will we see you again? Yes, I'm sure you will, but not for some time. I will miss you. Me too. I'll miss you too, all of you. Mordecai, why didn't you and Hadassah leave Susa tonight? Where would we go? Anywhere far away from here, where the king's men can't find you. Oh, we'll be on foot. They will find us. I have an idea. That Hattak, he must have access to the harem. The other night at the banquet, the king sent him to fetch the queen. What of it? Well, don't you see? He must know the keeper of the harem. We could use them to get messages to Halasa. Oh, that's a dangerous game, my friend. No one gets into the harem. We don't need to get in. Uh, just close by, uh, by the garden wall. Oh, but you don't even know them. Can they be trusted? I know Hattak. He'll do it. It's the only way we can be sure you'll be safe. I'll go and find him. Ariel. If you need me, I'll always be close by. You can count on it. I know. My dear sweet Hadassah, they're going to take you away from me. You will live in their world with their gods. Promise me that you will not forsake our faith, that you will trust in the Lord, and he will keep you safe. I promise. You cannot reveal that you are a Jew. We must change your name. You look Persian. So from now on, you will be known as Esther, and they will accept you as one of them.
words have been sent to the king from faraway lands. Only the finest for his women. Mm, this one's divine. Has a touch of cinnamon, I think. Yes, it is decidedly spicy. Perfect for the evening. However, for the daytime, this one. Made with the most fragrant of petals from the king's garden. And look at these colours. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful? Oh, and it's so soft. As I said, only the finest. Oh. You know, I'd be quite happy living here even if I didn't marry the king. Oh. We certainly couldn't afford anything like this at home. <laughs> and here you have it in abundance. <laughs>
talking loud in here. Well, I'm not here to see you. Oh. Hepzibah! Oh, my sweet. I couldn't go another moment without seeing you. Oh, Hatak. You know you're not supposed to be here. If you're caught, you know what that means. Only too well. Well, go. Come but, on, go but, out. Ah, my leg. What's wrong? Have you hurt yourself? Yes, I fell down the stairs. Oh, well, let's attend to it. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> It's, uh, it's, uh, it's here. Hey. Yes! Yes! Oh, just a little! Good boy. And now the other leg. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, no! It feels much better. Oh, really? Well, in that case, you can just walk right out of here. <laughs> but there are guards everywhere. Well, go up the stairs. Go on. Says, but, go. But my, but my love, when will I see you again? Tomorrow morning, in, <laughs> in the outer garden, just <laughs> after sunrise. I'll be waiting. Hatak. Hatak, are you all right? Hatak? Yes, my sweet. Oh, Hatak. I forgot to tell you. What is it? I have a message for Esther. What? Her uncle... Yes? ...is in the outer garden, and she's to go to the balcony to catch a glimpse. So, no, so he can catch a glimpse of her. Well, okay, tell him I'll take her there. Go! Which one is she? Which one is she? Never you mind! Mistress ah. Hepzibah, whatever tracks it to that ball, I'll never know. I'll never know either. But he really is quite sincere when you get to know him. And he's very entertaining. Ah, he's entertaining, all right. The man's an idiot. The man's a fool. A fool, I tell you. The man's an idiot. An idiot, I say. An idiot. The man's an idiot. <laughs> idiot! The man's a fool. Idiot! <laughs> idiot! <laughs> Esther. Esther, come. with me. Where are we going? Look. <gasps> Esther, come. You've been with us now for almost a year, and it's your turn to meet the king. Oh, but I don't think I'm ready. You are ready. What would I do? What would I say to him? Anything you feel. But I don't know how I feel. It's just a dream. Well, that dream becomes a reality tonight. But what if he doesn't like me? He will like you. Trust me, I hear the king's quite an agreeable fellow. Well, Your Majesty, what she to your liking? They're all the same. Each one beautiful. But none possess that special something to separate one from the other. This is what they want. And I can give it to them in abundance. But what about me? What about you? Memukan, do you think any one of these women really wants me? Of course they do. You're the king! That's it, because I'm the king!
Perhaps if I was waiting outside with the next girl? Oh, sire, just choose one. At the end of the day, what difference does it make? As long as she's beautiful and bears you sons. Very well. Send her in. Your Majesty, may I present to you Esther. Sire! Come, Esther. Don't be afraid. I'm not afraid. That's a pretty flower you're holding. It's from your garden. Lovely. Esther, you can have any jewel your heart desires from this chest. Come. Which do you choose? this land for the one who could see beyond riches and gems in this palace I have everything you need all I have I'd share with you with I me
but a day Who would have predicted you'll be queen My heart is delighted I'm so proud I could shout Can't believe today she'll be crowned You'll be missed by all your friends out there Don't forget that you are in God's care Finally, promise me Keep a secret your identity Thank you, dear uncle, for your care I will keep the faith we share Please don't worry God will be with me Now this palace is my home I must face things on my own Wish you know how much I miss you What a day I predicted you'll be queen My heart is delighted I'm so proud I could shout Can't believe today you'll be crowned You'll be missed by all your friends out there Don't forget that you are in God's care Finally, me, promise me Keep a secret your identity I'm so proud I could shout Can't believe today she'll be crowned Queen Glory be to our mighty King It is a hope we serve on His side Glory is a victorious King Leading us to success in life In wars, in battle Glory be to our mighty King Greetings and loyal to the end Glory is a victorious King To win with faith our hearts, our lives, our own forever Just a simple girl who's scared, overwhelmed of what's ahead. Here I stand now, giving you my vow. I'm not so sure of what to say, so much happened in one day, but I give you all of my heart. You're not my subjects, but my friends, life's hard
What do you think? It may be time to overthrow and be the king. I should be king. You may be right. But we must ask the spirit's help of when to strike. I want to strike. Can we be sure? Is there a plan to get us through? We'll be secure. We'll be. Is this the time to strike the blow? Is this the time who is our foe? Is this the time to overthrow? The army's gone. Just palace guards left to protect your Persian throne. My Persian throne. Who can resist? The nobles won't. They can't afford to raise a fist. I can't resist. But that new queen... I cannot see her as a threat. She's just 18. She's just 18. It may be time to strike the blow. It may be time to... What is the plot? I've hired two men. They'll trap the king and cut his throat. Cut his throat? What of your link? I'll kill them both, trying in vain to save the king. A tragic thing. All is secure, the plan will work. work, there is no doubt, we are assured, we are assured. Now is the time to strike the blow, now is the time who is our foe, now is the time to
like a dream at last come true Oh, this serenade that I sing is just for you For the joy, my love, of seeing you, seeing you By wandering days are Like spring on a summer's day Seeing you Blossoms bloom in the months of May Oh, this serenade That I sing is just for you For the joy, my love Our love will never I want to stick to you like glue <laughs> Seeing you You're like a comfy pair of shoes <laughs> A serenade That I sing for only you Oh, Hattack, not loud Where is that idiot? <laughs> For me. Have patience, Majesty. He's preoccupied with his war against the Greeks. But even Kove, who's been away for a while, is eager to see his love. Yes, I'd heard he'd returned this morning. I also heard that things didn't go quite as well as the king had hoped. All these conquests, Hepzibah, mean nothing to me. I miss my husband. I miss his love terribly. Give him time. He has much on his mind. Hatak's waiting for you. Go to him. I'll be all right. Okay. Maybe only a dream Shadows in my mind Did I see love in him? Surely I was not blind Where's the king I once knew? Share a love that is true. 
There's no time for that. Oh, Memucan. Shireen! Father! Memucan! Your Majesty! Memucan, there's been a plot to assassinate the king. You must do something at once. What? How? How can you know this? It was overheard by Mordecai, the palace gatekeeper. He overheard the assassins. Kove, we've no time. We must warn the king. I'll deal with you later. Your Majesty, I have apprehended the assassins. They have died by my own sword. I commend you, Haman, on your speedy work. How did you hear of the assassination attempt? We have only just been informed of it. My men are very vigilant. Their first obligation is to protect your majesty. Haman, you have served me well. This is not the first time you have saved my life. Come. From this day forward, you will be honored above all men. You are my foremost minister, prime minister of all the empire. Let everyone bow down to Haman.
find out who he is. The one who refused to honor me. What I don't understand is why Haman had the assassins killed when he could have had them arrested and interrogated. Now, we'll never know who was behind it. It's really strange, sir. Kobe, you know Haman's officers. See what you can find out, but don't let anyone know. You're right. There's something very strange about this. Yes, sir. Well? His name is Mordecai. He is the keeper of the palace gate. Mordecai. You regret the day you didn't bow down to me? He was at the palace gate the night I hired the assassins. It's because of him that we failed. But it worked out well. You have been honoured above all other men by the king. Can't you understand? He knows everything! Then we'll have to get rid of him. He's probably told his whole tribe by now. No, if we kill Mordecai, then I will be implicated in the murder. Things are not looking good at all. Well... It seems that we must also dispose of the Jews. Gladly would I get rid of that most primitive race, with their strange language and customs. Why, even by the way they dress, you can barely distinguish the women from the men. <laughs> unless you look close enough. Their women have absolutely no idea about beauty. It's because they're ugly. <laughs> And their religion. They have only one God. One God! And even he doesn't have a name. Then I wouldn't worry about it. We have many gods, and that makes us all the more powerful. Come, my dear. Go to the king and tell him that the Jews are a threat to the peace and stability of the kingdom. Mordecai definitely is a threat. You can go to the king and tell him that your secret police have discovered that it was the Jews that plotted against him and instigated the assassination attempt. You are in his favour. You can persuade him of anything. Maybe I can persuade the king. After all, he has made me his prime minister. And that shows he has all the more confidence in you. Don't forget you'll have the backing of Napur's spiritual powers. I can urge the king to sign a decree that all the Jews be killed. The spirits will help. The game is yours. But what concerns me is that Napur's prediction failed the last time. But, but did it? Did it really? Since then you have been made second in command by the king, the most powerful prince in all the land. Is this not a sign that the spirits of the gods have indeed favoured you? Come, my dear. Let us consult them again. Napa, cast the runes! Well, what do they say? The thirteenth day of the twelfth month, the month of Adar has been chosen as the day when Mordecai and the Jews are to be killed. This is the message of the spirits. But that's months away. It would be dangerous to wait that long. Swallow them again! <laughs> the 
دوباره به من نشون بدی The result is the same It would be very dangerous for you to go against these divine predictions Yes it would Haman Napor has been our guide for years Let's not risk it Haman Well what do they say now Haman, please listen to Napor. Very well. But Mordecai and his race will be crushed by my own hand. The king has decreed that on the 13th day of the 12th month, all people of every nationality in every province are ordered to destroy, kill and annihilate the Jews, young and old, women and children, and to plunder their property and goods. This is the law of the Medes and Persians, and cannot be revoked. Come and stand with us, hear the judgment pass. Persians are indeed of a higher class. Gallows must be filled, Jewish fate is sealed. Cannot spare a soul, all must be killed. If you don't abide, there's no place to hide. You will have to face a cruel pride. Persians are loyal. Let us fight. How could they put out such a decree? Soul to listen to our plea. No Heard the news so suddenly today. Why must we pray? Are we doomed or can we find a way? Oh God, deliver us, we pray. No sympathy I heard the news so suddenly today 